And with this generation, we are launching for the first time white ink on our 3.2 meter portfolio. Right. So for some of you who have never seen our white ink, right, it's, it's brilliant. Uh, it's very opaque. It has a very true white. Right? And, and with the addition of white inks, you're able to produce um, single layer, double layer, triple layer, and even five layers to cater to all your white ink application needs. Right. Hey, good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, I'm here to introduce to you our latest portfolio, which is the Latex L2700 um, W series. Right, so what you have behind me, it's our latest offering of our fourth generation um, 3.2 meter machine. Right, so some basic fundamental um, information, we are a water-based pigment ink. Right, so we come in six colors, CMYK, LC, LM. And with this generation, we are launching for the first time white ink on our 3.2 meter portfolio. Right, so for some of you who have never seen our white ink, right, it's, it's brilliant. Uh, it's very opaque, it has a very true white, right? And, and with the addition of white inks, you're able to produce um, single layer, double layer, triple layer, and even five layers to cater to all your white ink application needs, right? So some, some specs about um, what we are printing right here. So this is printing at three pass print mode. So three pass translates to around 89 square meters an hour, right? So this machine comes also in a um, dual row configuration as an accessory. So if you're not printing 3.2 meter across, you can actually load our accessory for you to do two point, uh, sorry, two times uh, 1.6 meter rows to give you double the efficient on your um, 1.6 meter rows. Right over here, I'm gonna bring you to our front panel. Right, if you can follow me over here. Right, so this is the brainchild of our machine. Um, basically, you send your file over here and this guy over here is going to manage all the print queue for you. So if I can bring you closer, right, I hope you can pan in to our front panel, right, it's a very interactive touchscreen front panel, right, so it has a clear view of all the things that you need to know as an operator, right, if you click on over here, you get a quick indicator of the ink capacity remaining, so you're always ready. Right, for a long job, you know when to plug in the new ones. Over here, this is where you will see our printhead configuration. Right? So we are, a P uh, sorry, we are a thermal inkjet printhead. So basically it means it's a plug and play uh, user replaceable printhead. So every time you encounter a printhead problem, right, you do not have to get a technician down to fix your printheads. You can just pop a brand new printhead right in and it's gonna go in after 20 minutes of um, purging and alignment. So that saves you a lot of downtime if you encounter any printhead issues. Right, next also, this is our job queue, right? A very clean job queue. All your files that have been ripped on the workstation comes over here and it gets populated over here, right? So a very simple operation. You simply have to drag and drop into the queue and then it's gonna con continue production. So it's a very simple, ease of use operation for the operator. At the same time, we have this beacon right here, right? So every time you see a flashing beacon, sorry, a, a flashing green light, essentially it means the machine is running, right? It's printing fine, right? So a quick look from your production environment, you are able to tell what's happening on the machine, right? Without having to walk near the machine. So that gives you a quick indication of what's happening at all times, right? So what's great about our machine? Right? We always emphasize our white ink technology. So what makes us different in terms of handling white? So if you're someone that already has a white ink printer, chances are you will know it's a very th difficult ink to control and also maintain. Right? The reason being, uh, white ink tend to be a little bit more dense in terms of the color pigments. So chances are, if you do not purge the machine, it will clog the print heads. So HP, we always like to reinvent things. We, we, we like to be a game changer. So the way we build our white ink system, it's also very different from the rest of the vendors out there. Matter of fact, if I can bring you over here to our ink cartridge, so you get a better indicator of what's happening. So this is essentially how our ink cartridge look like, right? There are two connectors 
only for the white. Right, the rest of the ink, the rest of the colors come in a single connector. So the reason why we have two connectors in this box, it's so we can have the inks recirculate throughout the system. So let's call this back A and back B for simplicity. So while you are not, while you are printing or while the machine is idling, right, it's gonna do a recirculation on your behalf. So there's no need to manually agitate the ink by yourself. The printer is going to manage the white ink for you. So that re reduces the chance of printhead clogging, right? Because of the white pigments. So you, you also do not need to purge your inks because every time you're not printing your white, you can actually pop in the dummy printheads, which I will show you in a second, right? So because our, our printheads are user replaceable, right? If you're not printing your white, simply pop in, pop in the dummy printheads right into the carriage and put the real print heads into the uh, chamber beneath so the dummy heads it's in the carriage for us to do the recirculation so if you go for a long break a holiday right chances are when you return from your holiday you will find either your print head give you problems or you wasted a lot of ink purging over the over the period of time you were away but because if you're using an hp machine the white head it's here the dummy is in the carriage, so there is no purging involved. So you still get the same remaining amount of white ink in your machine. So that's where we decided to change how white ink work compared to the rest of the uh, vendors. Right? And, and with that, uh, I think we will stop for now and hope to see you at the event.